Hey, my name is Chef Jonathan and it's Gabby. Uh, today we're going to make something simple and easy. We're going to make a veggie stock. So what you're going to see here is just a bunch of vegetables. Now you can tell they're not the highest quality vegetables. I have a bunch of stems from leftover celery. Normally these would go in the garbage disposal or they would go in the garbage can. I have a bunch of uh, celery stalks. Normally you don't use these parts. Um, I have carrot peelings. I have um, a parsnip that's pretty much on its way out. But one thing that all these things have in common is they have hidden flavor. A lot of hidden flavor. So my task as a chef and your task is to bring that flavor out. Um, another trick to making a stock is I like to add a tea bag to it. Now you can use any type of tea that you want. Of course you don't want to use any fruity type of tea. But I like to add a green tea. Uh, normally in French cooking they would add something which is similar for a sachet. A sachet would consist of things like uh, peppercorns and uh, bay leaves and parsley, so on and so forth. Um, after that I have here some bay leaves. These are freshly picked and dried out. You can get them relatively cheap. If you can't find a fresh bay leaf plant growing around in nature, you can just buy it from the store. And then I have peppercorns. Whenever you're making a stock, you want to make sure that you do not put any salt in it. Salt always comes last when you're making a dish. Never add it to the stock. If you go to the grocery store and you're buying the stock, you'll notice that um, the content of sodium on the back is extremely high. Regardless of what type of grocery store you go to, you can go to any type of you know really high-end grocery store and you're always going to see sodium. But a true stock should never have any uh, sodium or salt content in it. And last but not least, you want to use water. I like to use uh, high quality water. I really don't like to use faucet water. Uh, here I have some natural spring water, uh, about 30 uh, ounces, maybe about 28 ounces. Okay, so we're gonna hop right into it. Here we go. Starting off, you have your regular saucepan. Turn your oven on, uh, pardon me, turn your stove on to a high heat. Start off with adding the water directly into the pot. And then go ahead and just add your vegetables. Celery stalks, uh, bay leaves, carrot. I like to save the special tea bag for the very last part. Um, let's break that parsnip up. There we go. And what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of peppercorn. Yes, a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna wait until that comes into a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you wanna turn it down just a tad bit. You're looking for like a simmer. And you want it to simmer for approximately 10 to 15 minutes to draw all of the flavor out of the vegetables and into the water. Now that it's at a simmer, this is the perfect time to add in your tea bag. Kind of mix that around a little bit. And just let that steep for an additional two minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit and bring it back to a boil. So it's definitely ready now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it off. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little strainer. I'm just gonna strain it directly into this little container right here. Probably will be a better idea to put it in like a glass bowl, make sure it doesn't melt, but I'm pretty confident. And here we have it, it's my veggie stock. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in the freezer and let it cool down. Water bang, water boom. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have anything you want me to make, uh, put it in the comments down low and I'll be more than happy to make it. Uh, Joe Hogan, I didn't forget about you, a vegan dessert, gluten-free. Honestly, I was going to make it and my oven broke. 
So I'm waiting for my oven to get fixed. The minute that happens, I will be more than happy to get you next. Anybody else? Let me know. I got you. Until next time.